Hello everyone, I'm Jason Crabtree from Agent Branding System and thanks for joining us on the Marketing Moment. Today's topic is how to recover your Google My Business profile if it's been hijacked by somebody else. And when I say hijacked, I mean that you are no longer in possession of your login, your password, you're not able to go in and modify and make changes to your Google My Business profile. This happens quite frequently. It's not always uh, a, a nefarious act. It could just mean that a former employee set it up for you and you don't have that email address that they use to set it up. It could mean that another advertising agency or marketing agency that you used to use set this up for you and you just don't have the access that you want to go in now and make profile changes. So let's get started. Here's how this works. So the first thing we want to do is get to your Google My Business page and see if we can log in. So there's a few ways you can get there. Open up a new web browser and you can either in the address bar you can type in google.com slash business or you can type in business.google.com or if you're on Google you can just do a search for Google My Business. If you do that search it will take you to a search results page that looks like this that will have options where you can click on a link like this one that will take you to the Google My Business start page. So once you're there, it's a page that will look like this you want to click on the little green button that says start now. It'll ask you to sign in and in this case Google already knew a few of my uh, email addresses that I might have used to to work on business profiles in the past so I clicked on one of those. If they don't know yours you can just type it in. Um, so go ahead and sign in to Google um, and then once you're signed in it'll take you to a page that looks like this where it's going to ask you to look for the business that you want to manage. So I started typing in Agent Branding System and you can see here that they already knew who Agent Branding System is and had that business information. So if I just click on the name, it'll auto-populate this and I can just hit continue. Once I hit continue, remember I'm signed in as me and it says someone else has already verified this Google listing you can see um, they won't show you the entire email address but they'll try to prompt you in case you own that email address so if you see this email address like this and that is yours then you aren't hijacked and you just need to log out of whichever email address you used to log in a minute ago and log back in under this one you should then be able to manage your Google My Business profile if that's not your email address then you need to request ownership. So we'll take the few next steps. So um, click on request ownership. You're going to be taken to a page that looks like this where they're going on a little bit more information about you, the person who is now requesting ownership of this verified Google listing. Um, it'll ask you if it's okay to show that person your contact info. So you want to hit yes on that one. You also want to let them know that you're requesting ownership and you want to let them know that you are the business owner. You put your name on there so they know who they're working with in case it's a former employee or an old uh, uh, marketing agency. They can see that you are requesting ownership from them. You can also add your phone number in case they want to give you a call to talk it over um, to see you know, what steps need to take place in order for them to give you uh, access and ownership. You should always own your Google My Business profile. <laughs> so the, once you complete that, you can hit OK. That will send the ownership request. And they're going to get a, uh, a, a little note that looks like this. Someone has requested ownership of your business name. And it'll show the contact info, the title as owner, and email address, and the phone number. They can, at that time, either grant you ownership or they can reject your request or I guess the third option would be that they just don't respond at all. So if any of those um, last two things happen, always give them about seven days. It takes about a week you know, for people to digest and respond to these things. So give them about a week to respond. Um, if they reject it or if they don't respond at all, we have other options. We can appeal that. So um, you'll get a, a response that says they rejected your request then you want to hit appeal. So we'll go to this section here and we'll click on the appeal button um, and then you authorize that you are the uh, the business owner and that you're authorized to manage the business and agree to their terms of service then hit continue 
they're going to want to do a, a manual verification in that case then. So they want to see that you are that business at that location, so they're going to send out a postcard. It's three easy steps, very simple. They're going to send a postcard. The postcard will have a code on it. Once you get that code, you go back to the website, you type in the code, submit, and you are now the business owner. If none of those things work, you can still always call Google My Business for assistance. And here's the phone number. Give them a call. They will walk you through it and manually help you take back ownership of your business. That's it. It's as simple as that. I hope this information was useful and informative, and thanks as always for joining us on The Marketing Moment. I'm Jason Crabtree from Agent Branding System, and I appreciate your time.